I own in my entire Steam catalog. And I have a cookie hanging out with me today. Who seems to be sitting on top of some laundry. I might not be able to ever move this laundry ever again. Well, that was long lasting. So I hope these levels are okay. I'm gonna just crank that down just a teensy bit, hopefully. Um, so I've never played this game. I saw, I think, two streamers play it before. It always looked like a really good time, and it feels like it fits like the theme of like October because it's about a haunted island. So that's my excuse for playing it right now. And. Um, I kind of started streaming late tonight because personal stuff and I need something to like feel like an hour of my day. So we're going to was it to move. Oh my gosh. What an incredible picture. I like his friends. Can I just leave? Can I be like, heck no, I don't want to go. How do I inter- oh, space. Interact. I have a frog hand. Holy cow, is that a frog hand? You could just be holding that phone right now, it's amazing. <laughs> Hello, who is this? It's the supervisor. It's a mighty fine chef. Hi, supervisor. Hey, how's life? Uh, pretty good, I reckon. How are things with you? Me and the wife just got back from Indonesia. Ah, well, see you all dead of in Kembali. That means welcome back, I think. Thanks. Anyway, what are you calling me for, Bob? Oh, right. I have a case for you. Cool. It's a pretty spooky one. So hold on tight. That's why we're here. We need that spooky one. I'm holding on. There's a little sloth who owns an island just off the bay. Martin's his name. Says he's been hearing a ghost for about two weeks. So get this. He hires a team of ghost scientists. What's a ghost scientist? I don't know. Anyway, he hires some of them, right? And they can't find anything. They've been on the island for two weeks. Whoa. The ghost is still at large. So he had a head scientist there. A monkey calls me up. They need help. And they want the greatest investigator I have. So I said to them, I'll send you my best investigator. The lobster cop wasn't available. So I'm asking you. The second best investigator. fully understand. Ah, my webcam's in the way. How darest I block you from seeing the majestic words that are being spoken in this game. I need to shrink myself slightly. I have been shrunk. Back to the story. I fully understand Lobster Cop's abilities. Far away my own. Yeah, so you're pretty good. So are you up for it? I don't know. It sounds very scary. I'll have to be very brave. I believe in you, detective. Oh man, those high notes are getting high. Let me just... Eh. 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 Alright. That seems to be a little bit better. That's just what I needed to hear. Thank you, Supervisor. I'll do it. I'm on the case. Wahoo! Can you give me a summary of the case before I go? Sure thing. The basics are, there's a sloth who's hearing a lot of spooky ghost noises around his island. He calls a bunch of ghost scientists, but they're all stumped. It's up to you to solve the mystery of the haunted island. Why did you yell, the haunted island, like that? Because that's the title of this case. Fair enough. It's time for you to grab your magnifying glass and get going. See you later, Supervisor. Good luck. Thanks. I 
can't leave without my magnifying glass. Now that I know I have an interact button, there's a space. I can't get out of here. There she is. The majestic magnifying glass. I wonder how they do that particle effect for like the, for the wiggly line there. It's very good. It's a very good wiggly line. Ah, yes, my trusty magnifying glass. Can't solve mysteries without it. Now I can right click to see things up close. I got an achievement. Picked it up. Hmm, this lamp sure looks suspicious. Why does this phone not have any numbers on it? Hmm. What about this? Very nice playground. There's a fish there, and a fish there. Now, you know, I think this might be underwater. Holy cow, I'm getting raided! Hi, Grim Goatee and friends. How are y'all doing? I'm playing some frog detective right now. I'm trying to get some real good frog detecting going on. I think that guy right there might be drinking that. That's my hypothesis at the moment. Hey Grim, what were you playing? It's time to solve a mystery. And now we get in the mystery mobile, right? Oh my gosh, it's such a lovely game. I've actually never played it. I bought it when I think I saw Barry play it. And then just haven't. And then I was running late tonight. And I needed something a little spoopy. So. I just love that. The frog hands are so good. <laughs> Starring the detective. Martin. Larry. Mo, the mouse, mouse. Bernie. Fresh X. And the rest. Case number one. The Haunted Island. Or as some people improperly pronounce it, Island. And we're on a loading screen. It is a very good art. If you've never seen this game before... It is a hecking good time. Um, my one regret from PAX is the fact that apparently Grace, who is like the main creator of this game, was at PAX. And I didn't know it, and so I didn't see her. Oh, I'm, I'm in the game. So we were just randomly watching a monkey waving for no reason. I don't really want to talk to this guy yet, though. He's, he seems like he really wants my attention, so let's, let's not. Hmm. It might be a clue. This is fun. <laughs> but I gotta get back to work. It was an achievement for getting back in the boat, apparently, and trying to get out of the island. Can I leave again? This is fun. Gotta get back to work. Um, yeah, it's, it's a little, like... It's kind of like a fetch adventure kind of thing. There's like a little bit of a mystery as to what's going on on the island, but really it's like interacting with the NPCs and stuff. It's a pretty short game. I think it's like an hour or two to kind of get through the whole thing. I wonder if this crab has anything to do with the ghosts. Oh, oh, okay. Apparently I can't go to the ocean over there. This guy's still waving. He's almost like a zombie, like staring into the abyss. Look at him. Just staring. Alright, let's talk to him. M. M. Ah, you finally made it! Thanks for coming on such short notice. I've heard so much about your adventures, I'm a huge fan. Wow, that's very kind of you. When you figured out who was behind the forest uh, theft of Witchtown, I couldn't believe it. I thought nobody would ever solve that mystery. I mean, who steals an entire forest? 
Oh, you've been following my blog posts. Yes, I'm Mystery Monkey 49. I comment all the time. I even made a funny joke once, and you responded. And I feel this, this energy here, so much. This is the <laughs> most of my energy. Of course I remember. Hi, Mystery Monkey 49. Please, Mystery Monkey 49 is my online name. You can just call me Mystery Monkey. Of course. Can I ask you some questions about the case? Questions? Yes. What would you like to know? Um. I guess we'll go from the top. May I ask who is the resident the island is? Ah, that'd be Martin. You can find him hiding in the forest. He thinks the ghosts can't catch him there. Oh, thanks, Grim Goatee. I appreciate that. And yeah, I understand. You want to avoid spoilers for such an amazing, amazing atmosphere game. Have a good night. What would you like to know? Where to start? Who should I talk to first? You're talking to me already. Okay. Then who should I talk to second? Hmm. Larry, the tall red one. He always wants to meet new people. Although, I think mostly he wants new people to meet him. Not so much the other way around. I'll check it out. Thanks. What would you like to know? I think that's pretty much everything, so... I think I'll come back after some investigation. See you around. Alright, so he's got some notes here. Hmm. Maybe a man in a suit. That's a very good hypothesis we got working on there. Wow, look at this lad. Look at that nose. It's so good. Remember, do not spit up when searching for ghosts like in Scooby-Doo. Who took my sunglasses? Give back. By me. It's Hulu open. Why are you back here? Why am I not back here? Notes. Some whole noises. Need some tomatoes for soup. Who is ghosts? I'm not qualified. Well, dang it. Why is Facebook being a jerk? Go away. Cut out those notifications. Clear them all. Clear them all. No notifications for me. Alright. Let's grab the magnet. This might come in handy. Got a magnet. Hello, Mr. Crab. Science line, don't go in. Science line, don't go in. Yeah, let's go talk to Larry next, I guess. Hello, Larry. Larry Laffer. Hi, it's me, Larry. Help, I did not do it. Huh? The noises are not coming from me. I didn't... I, Larry, did not make these spooky noises. That's, like, more suspicious somehow. What? Are you even listening? I said I didn't make the noises. No, I heard. I just... I don't like being accused like this. I'm not accusing you. Oh, you're not? That's such a relief. Can I... Are you going to ask me questions? Ask me them. The questions, I mean. Oh, boy. The noises. What can you tell me about the... Firstly, I am not the one making them. Y yep. But I know where they're coming from. W what? They're coming from the cave in the forest. Why haven't you told anyone? Nobody listens to me. They say stuff like, well, Larry, if you won't listen to us, we won't listen to you. Which is so weird, because I do listen. Maybe they mean, I'm a really great listener. So how do we get into that cave? Well, I need a few things. To get through there, you're going to need some sort of explosive device. Is that safe? We're dealing with ghosts here, Detective. None of this is safe. Anyway, I'll need a few things. I looked up an explosive recipe from one of the old chemistry books. I'll need toothpaste, some wool, a chunk of pure gold, 
and most importantly, some pasta. Oh, it's the normal explosive ingredients then. Just the standard explosive recipe. Yes, if you wanted to get that cave, bring me those ingredients. Do my best. Ask me that. The question's in Nothing right now. I'm good, thanks. Those are some real spooky sounds coming from the hole. I can't get any further down. Pasta. Yum. But it's not mine. Hello. Are you a spider? But you have six legs. flower over here. Oh. Boy. There's some good creatures on this. Can I just use the bed? So it's always good to take a rest. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, look at the little guy up there. He got a big little smile on his face. How can you not like play this and just like have the biggest freaking grin on your face? Like, it's just. Whoa, he's a snake. Okay, let's go talk to this guy first. Did I already look at you? I, think I looked at your brother. Eh, fine, I guess. Bored, mostly. Bored? That's suspicious. Suspicious? Why? Surely you can't just say I'm suspicious. There's no rule against it. I'm not being suspicious at all. I guess not. Sorry for calling you suspicious. That's okay. Why are you bored? Isn't hunting ghosts supposed to be exciting? For the first week, sure. Not now, though. I've been at this post the entire time. I'm shedding everywhere. Gross. I know. Do you mind if I ask you a few questions? Ask away. Why are you shedding so much? I haven't had a trim in ages. It's so yuck. Split ends everywhere. I usually get cut once a week, but it's been two weeks now. Yuck. So gross. It's totally fine. Thanks for trying to spare my feelings. But there's wool everywhere. I think everyone is grossed out by it. Uh, surely that's not true. Eh, maybe not. But it feels true in my heart. I think most people like wool. It's used for so much stuff. Like what? My jumper is made out of wool. <laughs> Are you for real? Yeah. That's weird. It's weird that you're wearing my hair. Wool is pretty gross. That's why I keep mine short. I don't think wool, your wool is gross at all. Okay, but what if I wore a coat made out of your slime? What? Ew. Gross, right? Sure, but slime is kind of gross anyway. And I'm saying that as someone who is very slimy. <laughs> wool is worn by most people. This is the first time I've heard of somebody wearing wool. I think that makes you the weird one. Plus, I'm pretty sure the shirt you're wearing is wool. What? I'm wearing another sheep's hair? I'm pretty sure... Yeah. Gross. I'm happy to take your wool away if you'd like. I mean, your own wool, not your shirt. Ugh, yes please. But you'll need something to clean it up with. Like a broom, or like fire. Cool, okay. I probably won't use fire. Okay. I can't believe I'm wearing wool. What if it's Barney's? Why not ask more questions? Ask away. This hole. What can you tell me about this hole? I hate this hole. Why? It never does anything. It's a hole. I'm a ghost scientist. I want to see ghosts. Not holes. Maybe the ghost is in the hole. Have you looked? I've looked. No ghosts in there. It's a pretty deep hole, but it gets smaller as you go down. So maybe there's ghosts further down. 
Did you hear any ghost noises coming from this hole? Sometimes, but not as many as Bernie and Larry's hole. Now that's a noisy hole. I wish I could hang out there. Who's stopping you? The boss. Who's the boss? I... I don't know. Maybe Mr. Monkey? Maybe. Maybe not. Okay. Mind if I ask you some more questions? Ask away. Nothing right now. No questions right now, thanks. I'm going in the hole. It's making spooky sounds. Hmm. I should have listened to the sign. We ain't about listening in these parts. We about pushing boundaries. some spooky sounds though. Oh look at that guy. Hello little guy. How you doing? Oh my god. Alright so I need a broom. Can I just take the broom? Hey nobody saw me take the broom. Ooh a broom. Which is in fact not fire. Which is good. I have a broom and a magnet. I may not have all the answers, but go ahead, ask away. Broom. Hey, I got that broom. Ready to clean? Yes, amazing. Thanks, detective. Can I keep this broom? Absolutely. Can I keep your wool? It's still weird, but yeah. Knock yourself out. What? I mean, like, take all the wool you want. No, not physically knock yourself out. Whew. The jokes in this game are so good. I got the broom now. And I got the wool. Those spooky sounds are really spooky. Oof. What is this? Whose face is this? <laughs> like, like, what? I don't even... F12? Yeah, we're, we're doing that. I don't, I don't know, understand. Now I'm second-guessing everything. Like, am I missing, like, bugs and stuff and, like, more secretive places that have, like, real people's faces on them and stuff? Can I interact with it, maybe? I'm gonna try to press this face. Not interactable. There's like a storm going on out there. You shouldn't be in the water, man. Swimmer safety. Hi, koala. Howdy. What are you doing in there? Swimming. But there's a storm. Eh, it's not raining yet. Besides, that's not actually that unsafe to swim during storms. Everybody keeps telling me to get out of the sea, but it's safer in here than up there. Why is that? No ghosts in the water. Ghosts can't swim. How, how do you know? Martin said. You don't look that happy in there. I guess I'm not. Sorry to hear it. Thanks. Mask why you're so sad? Well, it's kind of silly. I really want a magnet. I told you it's silly. Why do you want a magnet? Well, go on. My dream is to attach a magnet to a boat and hold on. Oh, why? Boats are fast. I'm not fast. If I hold on to a magnet, I'll be really fast too. Nice, right? I don't have any idea where to find one though. Even if I did, there's no way I'm getting out of here. Not until the ghost is found. That's interesting. Is there anything you need to know? I have a magnet. I brought you a magnet. What? Like, a real one? Are you for real? Yeah. This is a dream come true. Thank you so much. No problem. In return, I'll give you this big shell. I don't need it anyway. Great. Thanks. Wow. A real magnet. I don't know what I need the shell for, though. How does a shell help me? You're still kind of creepy, and also you should get out of the water if there's a storm nearby. Okay.
fresh X. <clears throat> Howdy. Hey, hello. Are you the, uh... Yep. Great. You brought my toothpaste shipment? Huh? Uh, no. I'm the detective. Oh, okay. Can I call you D-Tech? Yes. Nice. I have some questions, is that okay? Take it away, D-Tech. You're close. Why aren't you wearing a lab coat like the other scientists? It's my day off. I've been working so hard for the last two weeks. It's very important to take a break and get some sun. You're right. Um, not about the sun. About taking a day off. Yeah, I didn't pick a great day for it. Sorry to question you on your day off. Take it away, D-Tech. Hope you don't mind me saying, but you have a wonderful teeth. Thank you. I'm so glad somebody finally noticed. How do you keep them so pearly white? With Dr. Tight Smile 101 Tooth Whitening Cool Paste for teeth, of course. Dr. Tight Smile's 101 Tooth Whitening Cool Paste for teeth? I get a shipment here every three days. I go through the stuff so quickly. I'm down to my last two. Wow. Where can I get some of my own? Do, do you have teeth? Um, well, I could give you my tube, but I would need something else to keep my mouth fresh. I'll think about it. Can I ask you some more questions? Take it away, D-Tech. Nothing like that. I'll come back later with some questions. See ya, D-Tech. Hello. Okay, I gotta check all these plants now for, like, people's faces. I found that like weird grasshopper thing over here that had like a weird face on it. This one here. Like, what is the deal with this face? This person has a magnifying glass, just like me. Can I get out over here? I swear I saw something. Oh my gosh, what is that? No, this is not like Second Life. It's like a detective game on an island and I'm a frog. This guy is like really creepy, though legitimately. Like, what are you doing back there? Buddy. Hmm. So a lot of spooky noises coming from that cave. It is true. Alright, let's talk to the mouse next. Hello, mouse. How you doing? Mo. Hi. Hello. Are, are you okay? Yes. Are you sure? Well, I've just never talked to a detective before. I've heard so many nice things about you. I don't want to be embarrassing. If I am embarrassing, that'd be very bad. You're not embarrassing. That's very good news. But the conversation isn't over. There's still time. I have to be careful. Oh? Well, it's okay if I ask some questions. You have some questions? Questions? Yes. You're nervous. You seem very nervous. May I ask you why? Uh, because of the detective thing I told you. Um, I'm afraid of detectives. Well, when I was a kid, I had a bad dream about a detective. Something like that. I, I don't know. I'm well, sorry to hear about that dream. What? Oh, I didn't actually have a dream about that. So why are you so afraid of me? Fine. You've worn me down. Damn your extreme detective skills. I'm nervous because of Mystery Monkey. Mystery Monkey is a huge fan of your blog, so I don't want to make a fool of myself in front of you. 
I just think Mystery Monkey is super neat. And I don't want to be embarrassing in case I mess everything up. Oh. Well, is there anything I can do to help? Hmm. There's a dance competition coming up tomorrow. I want to compete and show Mystery Monkey that I'm really good at dancing. But I don't know what style of dance will impress them. Could you ask Mystery Monkey and find out? I can give this Mystery Monkey mouthwash in return. Sure thing, I'll do my best. Questions? Yes. And then the bottle. Let's talk about the bottle. What's in the bottle next to you? That's my mouse wash mouthwash. I'm happy to give it to you if you can find out what type of dance style Mystery Monkey likes best. I'll get to it. Thanks. That's everything I need to know here. Now we gotta go talk to Mr. Monkey and find out what kind of dances they like. In a very secretive way. They sneak up behind him. Questions? Yes. What would you like to know? Hey, so, uh, you, uh, you like dancing and uh, dance styles? I, I don't understand. Um, I like dancing a lot, if that's what you're asking. Yeah, kind of. What type of dancing do you like the best? Well, I basically only have like one move. Yeah, but like, uh, if you saw someone dancing, in what scenario would you most likely be like, this is such a great dance? What? I guess what I'm trying to ask is, what dance style do you like the best? Oh, hmm. I think breakdancing is so neat. If I saw someone breakdancing, wow, I would swoon. I would even go so far as to say, if I saw someone breakdancing, I would be so deeply impressed that I would want to hang out with them at all times forever. That's great. Sorry for such a strange question. That's okay. I'm sure it's important to the case. Anyway, I'll see you later. Bye. Hey, Newt Newt Pingu. Got a monkey fact. In my monkey fact jar, apparently. How you doing, Pingu? You're uh, hunting some stuff, huh? That's cool. Well, thanks for stopping by. I really appreciate it. Playing some frog detective for the spoopiness of the haunted island. I still feel like there's like gotta be more hidden faces or weird things in this island though. That I can see before. Like this guy over here, I legitimately creeps me out. Like, what is he doing? So creepy. Alright, anyway. I can get the mouthwash. And from the mouthwash, I can get the toothpaste. Dance styles. Hey, I talked to Mr. Monkey. Oh my gosh. Did you mention me? What did Mr. Monkey say? Does Mr. Monkey hate me? I'm s it's so embarrassing. I didn't mention you. Oof. Mr. Monkey likes breakdancing the best. Breakdancing? I think I can do that. I'm going to start practicing now, though. Good luck. Thanks. Oh. Here's the mouthwash before I forget. Cheers! Got mouse wash, mouthwash. It's so hard to say. Alright. So now we can take the mouse wash. I see you looking at me. I see you. Keep wanting to hit E to interact with people. Fresh accent. Back for questions. Take it away, D Tech. Mouthwash. I have some mouthwash for you. Amazing. Thanks. Am I able to use your toothpaste? I almost forgot. Here you go, D Tech. And I got some toothpaste. Alright, so who do I have left to talk to? You have the pasta, so I assume I don't have what you need yet. I haven't talked to the duck yet. Why are you going to like a Kung Fu stance? Whoa. Orbit. Ah! Stop right there! 
Why? My shells! Don't step on my shells! Oh, I won't. We can't be sure of that. I guess not. They're very fragile and small. Aren't we all? Oof. Right there with the fields. Right there. I guess. Please be careful. Okay. Are you still gonna stand like that? Yes! Why? I am alarmed. I am on alert. I am protecting my shells from dangerous frog feet. Wow. Sorry. I've just worked up about my shells. I don't mean to be rude, but... What shells? I can't see any shells. That's because they're small. How small? Too small for your weak magnifying glass. Wow. Sorry, but it's the truth. I had to get this one specially made for my small, tiny shells. Fine. Could I ask you some questions now? Ask me questions, just be careful. That cave. Do you know anything about that cave? Huh? What? No. I'm not even sure it, it's a cave. It looks like a pile of rocks, if you ask me. It's a cave for sure. Well, I guess we'll just disagree to disagree. It's literally a confirmed cave. Potato, potato. Nobody pronounces it like potato. I do. Oh my god. Really? Yeah. Fair enough. Ask me questions. Just be careful. Tiny shells. Why don't you get a bigger shell? Ha! Ha ha ha! You fool. Hey. Sorry. It's just that there's not many big shells around here. <laughs> I was just thinking that this guy reminds me a lot of Gam. I don't know why. If I could get one, sure. This magnifying glass would be useless to me. But I don't see any big shell around here, do you? Hmm. Ask me questions. Just be careful. I have this big shell. I have this big shell if you want it. What? How? It's a long story. Oh, in that case, I don't care. I hate stories. Okay. Anyway, I totally want the shell. Can I swap you for it? I have this magnifying glass to look at tiny shells, but I won't need that anymore if I have this big shell. Cool. Thanks. You're still standing weird. I'm still on alert. Here's the magnifying glass. <laughs> oh my god. It's so good. I think this is the best decision I've made all week to play this game tonight. Alright, let's talk to Martin finally. Wow, who are you? I didn't mean to startle you. I'm the frog detective. Are you from the agency? Oh, okay. Don't sneak up on me like that. I was visible for the entire approach. Well, fine. I guess I still look so spooky. Okay, I'll do my best. Sorry I'm so cranky. I haven't slept in two weeks. I'm Martin, king of this island. Y you're a, a king? Well, I got here. There was nobody else on the island except for me and Flimley. So I thought it was fine to declare myself king. Finley? I don't think Finley cares about that sort of stuff. Finley mostly cares about the dance competition. No, I mean to ask, who is Finley? Oh, okay then. Do you mind if I ask a few questions? Go ahead. Got questions for me? Yeah, who is Finley? You mentioned your friend Finley. Who's that? Finley lives on a nearby island and comes to visit every few days. The last time I saw Finley, she was talking about a song she wanted to dance for the competition. Her moves are pretty amazing, not like mine. She'll probably win. I haven't seen her in a while, but she's probably still prepping for the competition. It's tomorrow. Not that I'll be able to compete with this whole spooky situation going on. Martin sighs. <sighs> Got any questions for me? About those noises. Can you tell me about the noises and where they're coming from? I'm not exactly sure where they're coming from, but I know they're coming from a ghost. How, how do you know for sure? I have a book about ghosts. It's called The Ghost Guide Foolproof Ways to Detect a Spirit. I read most of it. Anyway, in the book it says that most ghosts can't be seen. And get this, I haven't seen a single ghost yet. The proof is all there. Got any more questions for me? Your nerves. You seem super nervous. Is there anything I can do to help? It's just the ghost getting me down. I haven't been able to sleep. I'm kind of annoyed too because I usually love hearing stories about ghosts. I read all of them on the cyberweb.com. But now, I'm living one. I'm sure we'll get to the bottom of things. Bottom of a grave, more like. 
What? Made more sense in my head. I guess I mean like let him probably die before the mystery is solved. That's very dark. Dark, just like the conclusion of this tale. Sorry if I'm being dramatic. You know I'm a good detective, right? I've solved every case I've taken on. Except the mystery of how to put a hat on. My head is a strange shape. It really is. The point is, you're safe. I'm gonna find the culprit. The best thing you can do is sit and relax. Everything will be okay. I don't feel okay. I'm finding it really hard to calm down. I understand. Ghosts are scary. But it might not be a ghost. You really think it's not a ghost? I don't know for sure. Oh. Let's try a visualization exercise. What's a visualization? It's a thing where we pretend. Imagine you're on a beach surrounded by calming waves. You can feel the cool breeze on your face. The waves slowly move in and out. It's a safe beach. What beach is it? This beach. This isn't a safe beach. There's a ghost here. <laughs> no, the ghost is on a holiday. Oh. Okay. Where is it? On a road trip. Cool. Can we visualize that we're on a road trip instead? But the ghost is on the road trip. Great point. Continue. Anyway, the waves are coming in and out slowly. There's nothing to worry about. No ghosts around at all. The ghost is on a road trip. Yep. Nothing to fear. A nice, sandy beach. Just me and the ocean. How do you feel? So relaxed. Great. Me too. Thanks so much, detective. That's okay. I want to give you something as thanks. Perhaps a piece of my crown. Got a chunk of pure gold from his crown. Wow, that's so kind. It's really heavy. It's made of pure gold. Why? <laughs> I like gold. Oh, okay. Can I have questions for me? This crown would be so freaking heavy if it was pure gold. Oh. I didn't talk about the dance competition. You mentioned the dance competition. Can you tell me a little more? It's tomorrow! Anything else? Best dancer wins! Okay. Got questions for me? Not at the moment. No questions for the time being. No problem. Alright. So I think the only thing we have left to do before solving this case is giving this guy the magnifying glass. Bernie. Hey, you're that detective, right? The one that Monkey keeps going on about? That's me. Oh, I'm so glad to have finally brought someone else in. I know nothing, and I really shouldn't have taken this job. Why'd you take it? I'll be honest. I thought it was a secret agent job. Why would you think that? The job listing said, Go scientists. I didn't seem like a real job to me. I thought it was like a cover, you know? One that only smart people could figure out. You know, like me. It still could still be a cover. Maybe they're testing you. Oh no, I, you're right. I better look competent. I'm only joking. Sure. Can I ask you some questions about the case? What else would you like to know? About this hole. What do you know about the noises coming from this hole? I mean, I'm not great at my job. I'd be good at other jobs. Just letting you know. But it does seem like the noises coming from this hole aren't made from a natural creature. They seem other otherworldly somehow. They have a weird and distinct tone. Sometimes it sounds like a bird's call. But only sometimes. Wow. That's a lot of really good information. Thanks. Yes, I'm very good at finding things out, if you know what I mean. Bernie, I'm not a secret agent. Uh-huh. What else do you want to know? You mentioned you want to be a secret agent. Why? Uh, secret agents get the best stuff. Like, for example, you've got a cool magnifying glass. I want one of those. I'm not a secret agent. Sure you're not. Bernie Winks. Such a good wink animation. Holy cow. Even if I can't be a secret agent, the things I'd give up for a magnifying glass, there's nothing I want more. Interesting. What else do you want to know? I happen to have this magnifying glass. I have a spare magnifying glass if you're interested. 
Exclamation points. Interested? Are you kidding me? There's very literal nothing I want more. Here you go. This is the best day ever. All of my dreams are coming true. Is there anything I can do to repay you? Do you need any help with your secret agent business? Again, not a secret agent. Fine, fine. I can give you my lunch. Ooh, what's cooking? Pasta, as always. If there's one thing I love apart from the thrill of secrecy, it's pasta. Anyway, my appetite is satisfied from the deliciousness of this magnifying glass. That's a weird way to word that. Whatever. Would you like the pasta? Heck yeah. All yours. I hustled hard. I got all the stuff to make the bomb. Alright, well let's look around the island quick. I can't see, like, the weird guy from this side, right? Only the other side? Yep. Wish was I could, like, creep up on him or something. Without being able to, like, jump or anything. That flower looks suspicious. Is there another flower back there? No. Bet she's in this rock somewhere. time. Ah! Hmm. All right. Let's go blow up in this cave. More questions. Ask them. The questions, I mean. Let's make some dynamite. I forgot what voice I tried to give Larry. Wow, you got everything? Yep. Amazing! Shall we make some dynamite? Yes. Let's do it. Nice! I'll cook up some dynamite, and then we can get it to explode, maybe. I love making things go boom. Well, this is it. Yep. Time to blow this cave up. Larry, explosives are dangerous. Sorry. Time to carefully blow up this cave? Thanks. No worries. I'm nervous. Me too! And I'm not even coming into the cave! You're not? I don't like dark spaces. I'm a sunny boy, baby. I'm not a baby. Sorry. Anyway, good luck. Look after yourself in there. Thanks, Larry. Let's do this. Ooh, we blew it open. Everybody fell down. Holy cow. I throw it on the ground. Cave. Can I leave the cave? Let me out of the cave! I'm spooked out! There's some pretty creepy cave sounds. Can I climb the ladder? I can't even climb the ladder. Oh no. Frog detective doesn't know how to climb a ladder. Some real creepy sounds. Freaking out a little bit here. That's a pleasant sound. What the heck?
Got spooked. Oh, hi. I think she's supposed to be a girl. <clears throat> Who are you? Are you a ghost? <laughs> what? I don't think so. Are you sure? Hmm. Yeah. That's great. You're not wrong. So, uh... Who are you? Finley. Who are you? The detective? Howdy. Wait a minute. Finley. I know that name. I'm pretty well known along the local... I'm pretty well known around the local dance circles. That's not it. Oh, you're Martin's friend. Yeah. What are you doing down here? Practicing for the dance competition? It's tomorrow. How long have you been down here? Uh, hmm. Geez, like two weeks, I guess? I didn't even realize. Ha <laughs> huh? Wait, two weeks? Have you seen any ghosts around here? Ha <laughs> nah. Just me down here. Does Martin know you're here? I don't think so. He never comes down here. Really? Why not? He thinks every dark space is haunted. He reads all those ghost books and thinks there's a ghost in every crevice. It's good for me, though. Perfect spot to train. You're... been dancing for two weeks straight? <laughs> yeah? Aren't you tired? I mean, I take naps. And these mushrooms are super nutritious. Gross? Mushrooms are disgusting. That's your opinion, detective. No, it's a fact. Okay. Anyway, Martin's been super spooked out because he's been hearing weird noises all over the island. Any idea what those noises could be? Hmm. I've been listening to my radio while dancing. This cave has a lot of holes. The sound from your radio could easily travel up to the surface. I bet that would be sound super warped, too. You know, you've been trapped in here, right? The cave has been blocked off by rocks. Haha, <laughs> really? Haha, <laughs> yeah. That's so funny. Yeah, you could have died. Haha! <laughs> then I'd actually be a ghost. I didn't even think about that. Yeah. Haha! <laughs> anyway, we should head back to the island. Yep. Finley's great. Martin is confused. Finley? Hi, Martin. Hi. Hey! Hi. What are you doing here? I was in the cave. You... you what? How did you get in? It's been sealed up for weeks. Two weeks, to be exact. Wait a minute. As it turns out, there was never a ghost. It was Finley in the cave the whole long time. She was so wrapped in practicing, she didn't even notice that the cave got caved in. The noises from her radio carried up to the surface and sounded super spooky. But, the, my ghost books. I was so sure it was a ghost. Nope, just me. It goes to show you, you should never trust books. Always use the internet instead. Haha, <laughs> yeah. Books are without an exception factually inaccurate. Yep. Grace Booksner. Hi there. Apologies for the interruption. I hope you're enjoying the game. I won't keep you for long. While I agree with the detective on most issues, there are contexts in which books can be very useful in information. <laughs> it's important to check the validity of an author's sources, and to check the book is up to date. The internet can also be a useful place to find information. Make sure you're getting your information from a trusted site. Thank you for your time. Enjoy the rest of the game. So anyway, as I was saying, books have no place in our society. Sure thing, that makes a lot of sense. Thank you for opening my eyes to the uselessness of books. You're very welcome. So, just to be clear, you were practicing for the competition this whole time? Yep. I'm in it to win it. I'm still not entirely sure what this dance competition involves. Dance competition? Best dancer wins. Who else is competing? Hmm. That's a good point. Just us, I guess. Don't forget Mo the Mouse. Who? One of the ghost scientists. The what? Don't worry about it. I think we need... I think we need more entrance. I know a few hard-working friends we could use a good boogie. But they won't be here tomorrow. Well, 
Let's move the competition to today. Yeah. 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 Before we dance, I just want to say thanks for solving the mystery, detective. No problem at all. I had a lot of help. Larry figured out where the noises were coming from. Larry? Is that that lobster? The one who talks over everybody? Yep. Well, I'll give my thanks to Larry too. So shall we boogie? Let's go. Okay, I think we've practiced enough. Wait a minute, who's judging? I'll do it. He's got his shell. the one movie's got. Pretty good too. All right. So who am I voting on? Pick the winner. I kind of want to make the mouse win because, like, she was trying to impress like the monkey, right? But also, like, this alligator did a really good job, too. Go with the alligator. Because I like the alligator. Oh, the phone is ringing. Frog Detective Crime Solving Agency. Frog Detective speaking. How can I help you? Detective. Supervisor. Great work on the Haunted Island mystery. Thank you. I tried really hard. I don't think even Lobster Cop could have solved that one. I think you're underestimating Lobster Cop. You're probably right. Anyway, I saw you busted a groove at the dance competition. Yeah. Uh, where did you see that? It was on TV. Every channel. Every channel. In HD. Cool. I didn't even see any cameras. Well, you certainly impressed the public. 
My phone has been ringing off the hook. Mostly the calls are about your dancing, but I did get one call about a case. Have you heard about Warlock Woods? I haven't. Well, there's something very strange going on there. They need our best investigator on the job. The lobster cop wasn't available. Nah. Can you handle another case, detective? I can handle anything. The detective will return him. The case of the invisible wizard. definitely recommend like anybody interested in this game to go check it out because it is amazing and I'm pretty hyped for the sequel although I don't know when it is I don't know when it is so he did it all right so that's pretty much all I had planned to play tonight and I've been streaming for about an hour so I think it's probably good for me for tonight let's get all up close close up so you can see the beard that's what we're going to do now so I think I'm going to find someone to raid oh there's a ton of people streaming right now holy cow <laughs> like how freaking Barry's playing Jackbox now. Nice. Alright, so I think we're going to read Marina. She's playing Little Town Hero, and I want to see a little more of that game because I'm really, I'm like right on the edge of buying that game. Um, but I do want to be a little more convinced that it is what I want to do. So that's where we're going to go. And I need to remember that it takes 10 seconds of people actually accepting a raid. So I should press the button and then continue to talk instead of always ending before I hit the go button and then sit here like a doofus trying to think of something to say for those last 10 seconds. So thank you everybody who stopped by. Really hope you enjoyed watching some good froggy detective fun. And let's go over there and say hello to Rena. Thanks. Good night.